am officially short, sassy, and blonde again. <gasps> Happy birthday! Mmm. <laughs> All fixed. Hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to X Media X. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to X Media X and another weekly vlog. Did you miss me last week? I missed you guys too. Um, you didn't really miss much though. It was pretty much just me sat in front of my laptop, tapping away. Um, trying to get all of this bloody work done before my next press trip, but we are making good progress Hopefully we can stay on track this week and finish the weekend um, On a high because I've literally been doing so so well You know like when you have a load of stuff on your to-do list and you get to the end of the day and each day It's all ticked off and you just feel super super proud and really accomplished That was me last week So I want to have another week of that this week so I can really enjoy my weekend it's another bank holiday weekend this weekend I think it's really hard to know these things when you work for yourself because you just tend to um, I don't know I just tend to work through them a lot of the time but obviously now Chris is here living with me um, he's off work and I'm like why, why are you not going into the office <laughs> And Chris and I are going away this weekend. We're going to a hotel that one of my patrons recommended actually, or a couple, I think, um, to celebrate the end of the financial year for me. Um, I've just wanted to start a new tradition where I actually do celebrate um, surviving another year running my own business um, because I think it's easy sometimes to get really caught up in everything and head down and make sure you're moving from one task to the other. Um, and it's important to stop sometimes, smell the roses, um, and appreciate everything that you've got. So we're heading off for a lovely night away at the Cow Hollow Hotel in Manchester, which looks really beautiful, um, to celebrate another year in Ex Amelia X world, which, uh, which is a really nice idea. You grumpy at me. You're being grumpy with me because I took your bed away because you started to chew it. You being a menace at the moment with chewing things. Such a grumpy teenager. Had some lovely comments on last week's vlog as well. So thank you to Laura, the little gypsy, Nikki True, uh, Claire, Ghibli, Jocelyn, Hannah, Sofra. Oh, hang on. No, wait, that's your name. Shifra. And it means Irish fairy, I think. Yeah, for, oh, fairy, fairy Princess, such a lovely name. Um, Sophie, Sarah, Steph, Emily, Samantha, Leah, Dana, Kerry, uh, and some other people, Molly, oh my God, loads of comments. Claudia, <laughs> Tabitha, Rose, and Natalie. So thank you all for your lovely, lovely comments on last week's vlog. I was filled with love and it was really nice. Um, just what I needed actually. So thank you very much for taking the time to comment and leave such lovely comments and yeah, it was really nice. Um, so yes, I'm just doing my emails at the moment and trying to keep warm. It's very cold, it's sunny outside, but it's still chilly. Um, and maybe I should put on some more layers even though I've got like a bazillion layers on already. Put on a big thick jumper, I think. Is your birthday tomorrow? Are you excited? <laughs> Hello team, it is currently about half past seven, I think. Half past seven exactly. And um, just finished work. So I'm gonna go and wash my hair, which I know sounds weird because I'm having it cut tomorrow, but I just always feel a bit strange going to the hairdressers with really greasy hair. I don't know why. I know it's their job to wash it and cut it and stuff. <laughs> and it's gonna get wet as soon as I get there, but I just like to have clean hair. Um, and we were gonna go and do the food shopping, but neither of us can actually be bothered. Look, it's so greasy. It's also very dark. I'm looking forward to going a bit blonder tomorrow. Um, yeah, can't bother to do the food shopping, so we're just gonna get a few little bits and bobs to tide us over for tonight, and we shall do it tomorrow. A very non-eventful Monday, although I did get my flights, so I am actually going to Antigua next week, which is incredibly exciting. Um, it runs a little bit into the bank holiday because of the way my flights um, land and stuff but i think i'll still have a chance to edit this vlog and then start a new one when i head over to antigua for you guys to watch and whatever so you won't be without vlogs never fear <gasps> happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday birthday boy you're two years old so exciting <laughs> 
for some special breakfast. Oh, got a glass of Prosecco for breakfast. You fancy. You fancy. <laughs> this is hilarious. A healthy herbal infusion of elderflower, linden blossom, ginseng, and carrot. Oh. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Just about fits in the ball. Oh, that looks disgusting. He's gonna love it. Ready? Go on, then. <laughs> and he's got a birthday card from Grandma and Grandad with a birthday bird. <laughs> Well, that is a lovely tie and badge, birthday boy. <laughs> Come on, then. Hello, wiggly puppy. Hi. <laughs> you were just falling asleep on me, and now you've got energy all over again. <laughs> Hi. Say hello. <laughs> He's just literally been fast asleep on me and then woken up and he's just like instant energy straight away. Goodness me. Today's a very exciting day, isn't it? Hey? Hey? I'm so in love. I'm so in love. Toblerone! Toblerone! Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you exploring your new house? Or do you just want to cuddle? I think you just want to cuddle, don't you? Hey? You're exploring. You're exploring. <laughs> You're so cute. Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm just about to start making some doggy biscuits for the birthday boy. Uh, well, kind of half for him and half for a video. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he's benefiting from my uh, work job today and then I'm going to head over to the Francesco group to see Helen who is going to sort my hair out, hashtag gifted, um, but it yeah, really needs doing, it needs the layers re-chopping in, we're going to chop a little bit of length off I think and redo my sombre because it's getting a little bit dark and needs to be brightened up for the sunny weather that we're hopefully getting this weekend. But I am on a tight schedule so um, I need to do my little setup for my baking vid and uh, get moving. Look at that jar full of treaties and he's tried a few out for a little photo shoot and very much likes them. <laughs> no more, because you're gonna have a poorly tummy with all these treats today. I didn't know I was going to go a little bit longer. I am officially short, sassy and blonde again and I'm absolutely bloody loving it. Oh my God, she's done such a lovely job. It's amazing and I just, I can't recommend them enough guys. I was, as you guys know, if you follow me for a while, I was super, super, um, like really attached and really sort of anxious about getting my hair cut and done um, because I put a lot of sort of onus on it before, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've got a little bit more free with it so I don't get as kind of anxious but I still want somebody who I can trust doing my hair basically and Helen just absolutely nails it every single time she's incredibly good at what she does like for a start off she's a very very talented hairdresser but second she just always gets it right you know like when you go in and you don't really know how to explain things but somehow every single time even though I'm just like yeah I kind of want it still long but still short and then layers but not too many layers and I want it blonde but not so blonde and she just <laughs> somehow manages to translate my ramblings into the perfect style I just oh it feels so much better it feels so much lighter because my hair is like really thick which I love by the way um, but it just it gets very very thick and very heavy and she's just she's just nailed it nailed it again although I look really rough now because I've been sat there for like what four hours <laughs> like staring at my phone doing emails and writing stuff I feel like I need a break even though I've just had my hair done for the last four hours it's been lovely but I need a comfy chair and uh, another cup of tea but first 
I shall go and do the food shop and I'm gonna film a little food haul video because I know that you guys like that. So there you go. And then it's probably time to go home and walk the birthday boy. For dinner tonight, sir, considering it's your birthday and it's a very, very special day, you have 80% grass-raised beef with wholesome fruit and veg. Delicious. <laughs> Multi-award winning, apparently. Mmm. <laughs> Chewing it, just down in one. <laughs> you like your new outlaw? <laughs> you got your birthday badge on and everything. What a lucky boy. And you've got a lovely new name tag from Auntie Lucy that says Ginger Ninja. <laughs> Can't see. Stand still. How funny. Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. It um, is freezing cold today, so I'm bundled up warm. Toby's desperately trying to show me his new pheasants. That's very lovely. Say so thank you to the Patreon guys who bought you that for your birthday. <laughs> he always brings toys and shoves them in your face and you try and take them. He's like, no, no, you can't take them. You just get to look at them. Thank you, it's lovely. You have it? Drop it then. Oh, <gasps> privileged. Thank you very much. That's lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm bundled up warm today because it's absolutely freezing. I think I actually might get the water bottle on the go. Um, but yeah, I'm just working on editing some videos today. I have made the dog biscuit video. I also did the food haul yesterday, so I'm just editing those. My May edition of the magazine has just gone out, so I'm about to go and check how many people have opened it and clicked on it. Obviously it's gonna trickle through throughout the day. But um, yeah, it's a pretty big one actually. I'm thinking of um, moving it to a PDF format actually for next month. I'm gonna see how easy that will be to do um, and how easy it will be for you guys to access but it's um, so jam-packed full, like I've had more people come to me and say that they want to um, give stuff away for next month and yeah we've just got loads of stuff in there that it's getting a bit too big for inboxes so I'm thinking convert it to a PDF and send a download link out for that and then that means you can have it on your phone and put it in your books folder and just read it as and when um, but I've got to figure out like the details of that, that will probably take a full day to sort of transfer everything over, create a new template um, reconvert all the old copies as well so people can still view those it's gonna be a bit of a tricky one but I think that might be the way that we're going um, so yeah basically I'm just uh, just working away today sorry it's another really boring one but um, got fajitas for heat for tea tonight fajitas for he fajitas for tea tonight which is a perk to the day <laughs> looking forward to that it's that sad Hello team, please excuse my very puffy, just been crying all night face. Um, it's just been one of those days today. I just had, um, I lost a big contract at work, which was a lot of money and it just kind of went completely out of the blue. No fault of my own, thank goodness. But um, yeah, it just went. So that's like obviously a huge financial setback but it happens in this job, you know, um, and yeah, and then I've just had like a few little personal bits and bobs going on today, and I've just, I literally just lost it, like Chris came home and I just bawled my eyes out, and I pretty much haven't stopped for about three hours, um, tried to have a bath and read my book for a little bit, take my mind off it, but um, yeah, just feeling a bit rubbish, if I'm honest, and I just don't want anybody coming at me and be like, well, you're going to Antigua next week, so you can't be sad, I bloody well can, um, unfortunately, I don't want to be sad, but yeah, today is a real shitter. <laughs> it's just one of these days where everything just sort of comes at once, um, and it sort of like all piles on, and you're like, oh, anything else? <laughs> so yeah, just kind of like taking the evening. Um, probably going to watch a bit of Dr. Foster, which we've been watching recently, but I found that that's really triggered me. Um, not for like the whole like him in particular. 
but just like the those feelings of like betrayal and frustration and anger um they they like all came bubbling up and i was shouting at the tv so that's a bit of an odd one but now i feel like i have to see it through in the hope that someone might kill him and i might get some closure <laughs> Um, because he's a nasty bugger isn't he anybody who's watched it oh my god it's horrible um but yeah so probably just watched a little bit of that i got sent some popcorn today hashtag gifted so i'm gonna tuck into a bag of that because i just freaking love popcorn as a snack and they sent like th through the whole range the proper corn stuff and they've got like peanut butter and almond and vanilla and coconut loads of flavors that i didn't know existed so um i've gone for the boring lightly sea salt because i feel like i need some salt to replace all the salty tears <laughs> um but yeah looking forward to tucking into the rest we were gonna go and see endgame like Chris came home and was like, I booked us tickets to go and see Endgame. And I was just like, <laughs> he was like, probably not going to go tonight then. Um, but when we do go, I'm going to smuggle a load of uh, proper corn in. Although apparently you don't have to smuggle it in. Apparently you're allowed to take your own snacks in, which I did not realise. And I am 30 years old. But there you go. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, yeah, this is your daily dose of realness um just to let you know if you are feeling sad it's okay and you can feel those feelings and tomorrow is a new day and hopefully we will be a bit better and i'm going to use an eye mask to <laughs> depuff this good morning everybody happy thursday my pixie ipads are saving the day this morning <laughs> trying to depuff everything i put them on my birthday list actually because i'm panicked about when i run out of them um, they're these ones, I've showed you them before, the detoxify ones, they're just, it's the blue ones, I think they do blue and pink ones, but the blue ones, they're just so good, and there's 30 in a pack, and I feel like I use these all the time, and I'm still not even halfway through, but I'm already panicking when they're going to finish, because I just love them so much, so I hope someone's bought me some for my birthday, um, yeah, I've got a banging headache today, <laughs> after all the crying, and also because of the weather, um, I get really bad barometric pressure headaches, which are actually a thing, by the way. I always got told that they weren't a thing by all the boys at work, um, but they are a thing. But it's like an actual thing when the pressure shifts quite drastically, can cause like really heavy kind of almost migrainey headaches, um, and I get them really badly. And it looks like there's been a big change in pressure because feeling crappy today. Um, but I'm powering through, we've got loads of work to do um, because I'm taking the day off tomorrow as Chris and I are going to Manchester in the afternoon so that will be really, really lovely just to get away for the night. Um, and Amy's coming to look after Toby so we don't have to worry about anything. We can just go and eat and drink champagne and yeah, it'll be lovely. So um, just trying to power through and get it all sorted before then. I'm hoping that Chris might make his famous carbonara tonight <laughs> because that's like a proper comfort food for me and uh, yeah, I'd very much like it. But I think we've got the ingredients so try and twist his arm. <laughs> look how good my eyes look after using those under eye pads like genuinely they're, they are my new favorite thing that and the sheet masks the glow sheet masks which i also need to buy more of because i've only got one left i'm kind of rationing myself but look the difference is unbelievable they're very good i would 100 percent recommend them in fact our future editing me leave a link um for these iPads because they're just they're amazing I need to tint my eyebrows before I go away and also perm on my eyelashes um there was a lady that was gonna come and do some extensions <gasps> I've never had eyelash extensions before and I've always wanted to try it and she's local and she comes around and does it here and she had an offer on that made them like 25 quid because normally they're about 50 pounds I'm not paying that um, but I'd give them a go for 25 quid um, but she now doesn't have space and I'm good so um, I have an at home perming kit that I bought to do a video with so I'm still like playing around with that before I uh, before I do a proper video but it actually does work a little bit it's just really fiddly so yes sorry I'm gonna crack on Hey team, looking a little bit scary right now because I've just waxed my moustache and painted my eyebrows. Um, I bought this new kit the other day from Beat. It's um, the little easy gel wax strips and it's meant to be for your face. So you can do your eyebrows, you can do your moustache um, if you so choose. And yeah, they worked really well. I'm quite impressed, although my top lip is like really red and swollen now and my eyebrows look a little bit heavy because I haven't got any other makeup on. Um, but I've got a whole video on how to tint your eyebrows at home. It's so easy, like really so easy. So I just do mine at home now and then pop in to benefit every now and again for um, 
a little bit of a wax but I managed to do it all myself today and save a bit of money so that's not too bad. So Chris is on his way home now, um, I need to fix a jumpsuit that I got sent so I'm going to try and stitch that up now while we're waiting for him to get back and then when he gets back uh, the sun has come out and my headache seems to have died down a little bit um, so I'm going to take Toby out for a WALK and then hopefully he will cook his lovely carbonara. It's such a lovely jumpsuit from Simply Be um, but it's got like this tiny little thing, Toby you're not helping. I know you think you're helping but you're not. Can you back away please? <laughs> it's got like this tiny, if the camera will focus, little rip in the seam and that's the the v-neck of like the bust area so um, it's just a really annoying thing to try and fix because it's going to be so fiddly. I have to try and like turn it in on itself and um, sew a new seam by hand but I think it's going to be a little bit wonky but um, yeah it was a press gift and my contact just is not getting back to me about a replacement so I just thought sod it I'll try and fix it because I really do love it and I want to wear it next week. Ta-da! I fixed it I think you can still slightly see but it was a real I had to do a proper bod job on it to try and get it to work and then the hook and eye fastening that sits right in the middle popped off and I don't know where it went so um, I've had to sew that but I've just sort of sewn it permanently because that's where it sits anyway and then this bit was a little bit big so I thought while I've got my stuff out I'll pop a little uh, pop a little stitch in there as well to make it sit nicely but there you go this is the jumpsuit I just really love it it's so cute I've still got my leggings on underneath because I couldn't be bothered to take them off when I was just trying it on but um yeah it's so nice and it's really sort of comfy floaty um tropical vibey I think so yeah I can wear it next week now all fixed Good morning everybody, happy Friday. Today is a very nice day because Chris and I are off to Manchester for a little uh, night away at a hotel which will be lovely. Um, haven't packed a thing yet, Naomi's on the way, she's going to be dog sitting tonight, she's going to be looking after Tobes for us, lots of Toby goodles. Just trying to like wash all the sheets and stuff so I ignore the ghost in the background. Um, yeah, still haven't packed the bag, <laughs> um, have to just fiddle around with a few things and then we're going to head off. I've got some champagne in the fridge. Sounds like they're here. Let me go and get the keys out the door before we break it. We've got majorly distracted there, soz. Um, yeah, so Naomi's looking after Toby for us while we're away for the night, which is lovely. It's always good to know that he's at home um, being looked after by people who love him, getting lots of cuddles and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. And Chris and I are now gonna head over to Manchester. Hopefully we don't hit the after work traffic too much. Um, but I think we'll be fine, uh, you know, the motorways are always a little bit of a bugger, especially going to Manchester, but I think we'll be fine, we should make it for about, I, well, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, um, but it should be fine. I'm looking forward to it, I really love Manchester, so exciting, don't know where we're going to eat tonight, we've just done it super chilled, so we haven't booked anywhere, we're just going to play it by ear, we've got a bottle of champagne in the boot somewhere, <laughs> uh, ready to crack open when we get there, so yeah, very exciting. I'm so chilled out, it's like my, it's my day off today and I'm off until I go to Antigua on Tuesday, so yeah, I left my work phone at home and just feeling very chilled, so I'll probably vlog a little bit, but um, apart from that I'm going to switch off because it's just a very nice little romantic evening for us really. I'm excited to see the hotel. One of my Patreon guys uh, recommended it, so uh, yeah, apparently it's, it's a really nice one and uh, I might do a blog review on it, maybe. I don't know, I need to not work, but also it's right up a lot of your guys' street, so I'm thinking you might like to see a review on it, so. I've got my camera with me just in case, you can take a few snaps and I can sort out the rest at a later date. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it, it'll be nice. We've got some sandwiches in the car. <laughs> I tried to paint some holiday nails, but they didn't quite go to plan. Um, so they're a bit of a practice run and I'm gonna redo them on Sunday. I've got like a little flamingo on the go, but it didn't stamp very well, so. I'm gonna redo these on Sunday, but they'll do for now. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing else to report. I genuinely can't believe I got everything on my to-do list done this week because I had so much on there. I've had so much on there for the last three weeks and I've managed to keep on top of it. So I feel like I can actually relax because we've got it sorted. Chris has just been a little car for me because I'm lazy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We have made it to the hotel and I've realised that I've forgotten to bring a hairbrush. Um, it's amazing, let me just give you a show round. So first of all, they've put us in the Amelia suite, which is just unbelievably perfect. And apparently this is the owner's favourite suite and he proposed to his now wife here when it was just starting out. How cute is that? Um, so you come in here and then this is the room. It's 
it's actually quite dinky i like it um it's like a, is it an old grain warehouse or something an old storehouse they said i can't remember um but it's a very narrow building um and they've really done wonders with it it's like super kitschy lots of wood we've got wooden shutters and then you can see manchester out there loads of stuff they've got this thing that says look free stuff and there's free prosecco there's milk and cookies before bed fruit bowls breakfast in bed slippers and earplugs netflix in all rooms oh it's amazing the detail is amazing the bluetooth speakers scottish man not included <laughs> Explores roof beams. Explo however. oh yeah chandelier i didn't even notice that always look up too busy Instagramming my cocktail and then this is the cute little bathroom my cocktail <laughs> uh, and this is the little bathroom look it's like super tiny like grey marble floors and then you got the bog <laughs> and then a copper moon shower what they called monsoon shower oh so cute and Ren products amazing We've got a bottle of Lauren Perrier chilling in the ice bucket there oh, it's perfect it's like I don't know how they've managed to make such a cozy sort of feel to such a small room. Does that make sense? Like there's there's a lot of stuff in here, almost a bit of chintz, but it still feels nice and spacious. So I've been running around like a mad blogger, taking pictures because I'm definitely going to do a review um, and doing Instagram stories and stuff. We've had a welcome cocktail, but I drank them. You'll have seen it on my Instagram. They're very very nice. Uh, what was mine? A rhubarb lavender 75. It's like a take on the old French 75, my second favourite cocktail. Um, and Chris had like a Havana smoke, which is like a smoky rum, was it a rum? Yeah, I think it must or whiskey? Rum. It they tasted like whiskey because it. it was smoked. But, but it, I think it must have been otherwise, they wouldn't have called it Havana Unano. Did it take you back to being in Havana? It might have done if everything was so smoky, so we didn't actually have any cigars in No, we Havana, didn't. So. Oh, so there you go. It might have done if we had. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head down for our free Prosecco which is available for us. Um, and bar nibbles. And bar nibbles as well. Mm. And then come back up, drink some champagne, get changed, shower, go outside and eat. Yeah, and you then know? there's milk and cookies before bed. <gasps> milk and cookies. That is so, that's a really cute touch, isn't it? <laughs> that's really nice. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave you here. Probably not gonna chat to you anymore, unless we'll probably get drunk actually and talk to you later. Yeah, she always does that. <laughs> Morning. I've got uh, dry shampoo in my hair and also I forgot to bring a hairbrush of some sort so looking like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Um, had a really lovely evening. We went to, we're going to go to this Japanese tapasi place um, and we left it till the last minute and we didn't go out and actually go and eat until like half nine, nine. We were too busy drinking champagne. Um, so they were fully booked and then we went to so they directed us to this other place that was less fancy but more kind of like traditional and oh we had some i do have a hairbrush <laughs> we were, i was just literally brushing my hair after i just said i didn't have a hairbrush um and had some like oh lovely ramen -y, porky stuff oh it was delicious um because we're going to japan in september i can't remember if i told you or not but booked flights haven't booked anything of the trip yet um so we thought we'd go and have a little practice but yeah it was really nice and then we came back watched some rupaul drank some more cocktails and it, yeah it was just lovely had a really nice evening so um, i'm gonna go and pop the bags in the car there's no real sort of checkout time here they're very cool and relaxed with it so um it's nearly about 12 o'clock i think yes has my watch stopped already maybe i haven't set it um yeah so we're gonna go and hit the primark in manchester get some stuff for holiday and watch an art and that's about it and then we're gonna head back it's been a lovely little break away and we we're able to leave socks everywhere and not have to worry that toby's gonna run off with them so the weather is lovely today we've just been to primark and got some bits and bobs for holiday um and now we're gonna go to albert schloss because i've got a craving i've had a craving for cronuts for about four weeks and genuinely i keep dreaming about them so um i know that they do them i've been there before after we went to the crystal maze and they had like lovely brunch selection so we're gonna go and have some brunch collect some cronuts take one back for naomi as well as a little treat and then uh, head on home what a lovely day i do enjoy manchester i think i prefer manchester to birmingham yeah, I, do. I do it's a really lovely city Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. It's pretty freezing today. I've just put the heating, not the heating on, the kettle on to put a nice hot water bowl. And we're gonna snuggle up 
under the blanket. Where are you? You're hiding over there. We're going to snuggle up under the blanket and uh, keep warm together and have cuddles with Toby and just watch some TV. We've literally got nothing to do today. Here he is. On cue. <laughs> um, got literally nothing to do today, which is quite nice. Um, and it's bank holiday as well, so that means tomorrow we've got tomorrow off as well. Um, but yeah, the only thing I'm going to do today is paint some tropical nails for my press trip. And that's it. Just chill. And then tomorrow I've got to edit the weekly vlog and pack my suitcase and head down to Gatwick and stuff. I am going to vlog while I'm in Antigua. I have decided. Um, but it just might be a little bit later, I think. Because it kind of like goes into two weeks worth so it won't be like next week that you see it will be, it'll be the week after but I'm gonna vlog for you anyway so you can see what's going on it could be quite a chilled one actually we've got a few um, different activities here there and everywhere and then we're just kind of left to our own devices to get content which is always really nice because it gives you a chance to get like really authentic content because you get to explore the place how you would normally explore it um, instead of just being ferried around very quickly everywhere and getting up early in the morning and all that kind of stuff so um, yeah I think I'm learning how to sail hopefully these are the things that I've signed up for but I don't know if I've been accepted yet um, I think I'm learning how to sail on my birthday which is pretty cool um, a couple of sunset parties um, scuba snorkeling like these like little what's it called what do they call it mm -hmm. scooter snorkeling that was it or, like the electronic like things that uh, snorkel around and apparently I'm doing a um, gym session early morning gym session with Fleur East which is very random <laughs> but uh, they're the few things that I've got sort of booked in the rest kind of is just left to our own devices so hopefully get a bit of a tan catch up with Emily uh, there's a couple of other bloggers that I know are going as well so it should be a really really nice trip um, and nice and chilled so um, definitely the best way to spend a birthday if you have to work it anyway and you don't get to come this time Toby's like, I never get to come to these things. <laughs> yeah, we're boys week. Yeah, boys week together. Um, but then we do get a holiday afterwards, which would be so nice. But we literally don't have to do anything, and I'm not vlogging that one. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave the vlog here this week. Sorry, it's been a bit boring. Again, it's just been one of those where I've just been trying to get everything done before I go. Um, but I think I've, think I've managed it. If I can get this weekly vlog sorted tomorrow on the right holiday, um, <coughs> we should be good to go. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Hopefully a bit more tanned. Bye! It'd be very cool though if we could do some Bloom from the Darkness doggy jumpers. <laughs> oh, we've got a rogue egg. Is Chris a true Scotsman?